Exploring Models, kit review time, something a little bit different today. We've got uh, Mobis have just released the 172nd scale Ranger from the film Interstellar. Now, technically, a bit of a weird one because Interstellar is full CGI, so uh, technically this thing's never existed, I suppose. This could be even the first model they've had of it. Something a little bit different, um, as you can see, if you haven't seen the film, uh, I won't spoil it, but uh, talk about twisty ending. Uh, but there we go, so that is what we are doing. Now the great thing about this particular kit, or what Mobis have done, just having a look around the box here, is they've given us a few options, which is really, really nice to see, okay? So the um, kit number is, in fact, I don't think I've even seen a kit number on this. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, sorry, yeah, kit number will be 960, okay. On the back here, uh, I've got the cellophane still on this one, never taking it off, okay. We've actually got it, so this is what we're doing, but also you do get a smaller version for the 144, which you could actually attach to a Saturn rocket, or if you really wanted to, you could stick this on, I think Airfix did it, definitely Revel, I think, have done it, onto a 172nd Saturn rocket to give the full look of actually what the Ranger looked like uh, right the way through, okay. So there we go, that's all about it down there on the back, a little bit about obviously Interstellar, the film, but as you can see, we are still sealed. I haven't been in here at all so we're gonna have a look in see what we get okay so we just put this off here and the easiest way and then we can hopefully get it off the top as well we've got the rusty stuff for static okay so down in the box let me just get that over lovely box art I have to say okay we've got the instructions which we'll look at now all right, so if it's Mobis's standard way. Now we've done Mobis stuff before. You're not expecting a clean, sharp, very highly detailed kit. Yes, obviously you've got the details there, but they tend to be a little bit clunky, which we'll have a look at to see if they're any different. Obviously our last Mobis one we did, we did the Batmobile, we did the Tumblr. Uh, because obviously they've got the little franchise to do and all those things. Uh, usual thing with the instructions, we just drag this top camera out just a little bit so we can get you all in. Um, as you can see, you get a nice talk through as well as diagram. So it tells you exactly which parts to do down on here as well. So basically we're starting off with the landing gear feet, okay, and the landing wells, all right, making your way through, depending obviously if you want to gear up, gear down. So you've got the lower sort of, you know, things to it, the lower part of the fuselage is going through, those coming in, going into there the engines right the way through that get wet in the film sorry giving it all away now okay the top half of the actual fuselage okay and then the different things now this thing is a weirdo shape um, the way it actually goes it's not just dart like like most sci-fi type things this actually got some curves in it and things like that so it makes it a little bit different okay so this is these parts going in fuselage halves top and bottom going into in the rear entry hatch okay those all important engines going down there and then the forward gear itself being put on there then on there on the other side uh, we're actually putting in the little winglets uh, which are obviously around it so you've got the lower parts and the upper parts these aren't movable or anything else like that then you've got the gear going on there then you've got the launch module itself which um, yeah it's saying basically about sticking it onto a 144 scale uh, Saturn V rocket so if you wanted to go for that full look you could then make the small version here and because it's got the different rear part onto this it will actually fit on the top of a Saturn V to give you that full look okay then you've obviously got what we are looking at in here again this thing isn't going to be so much about building it it's all about the painting the weathering of it and everything else but as i said some nice little touches on this that they mention actually through this one but one is the rear hatch itself some very nice details down in there like that you can see obviously the window system and everything else in the top and this sort of winglet type area right the way around it and everything else like that so as i said something a little bit different um if you haven't seen the film, none of this makes any sense whatsoever, but hey, <laughs> it'll be okay. Now, we've actually got here, so it's a little bit easier. So you've got a bag of screws, all right? So in here, and this is where I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, hold on. There's no internal detail to this as you've seen, so consequently there is no windows. So what you're actually going to have to do is paint these black uh, and come in with gloss black. So if I was doing it personally and you're asking me, what I actually do is I would spray the entire thing up here completely gloss black. I would lacquer it, okay, or gloss it completely so you've got the sharpest you know, look to it you can possibly do. Then I would mask it 
then do everything else, okay? Then basically build it, uh, do all your bits and pieces because it's all completely protected and it's out of the way. But as you can see, we have no actual details in this whatsoever. If I just drop this top one down. So you can see there isn't a lot going on the top here, okay? It may have been nice perhaps if you had the clear part, you know, a nice big clear part that pushed up underneath it and pushed them all in. But because there is no internals to this whatsoever, it's purely an external model, then that's why they've elected obviously not to go down that route. So this is what we were talking about. It's a little bit Mattel, okay? I know I use that quite a lot, but it has that feel of a tougher plastic. Um, it's not a, a thin, lightweight styrene, which is crisp and, and delicate. This tends to be a more of a chunky, heavy duty plastic, which is Mobis are pretty much famous for, okay? But generally, the casting's all very nice. Okay, you know, this is where, again, you're in the realms of CGI and sci-fi and everything else like this. So when you're looking at pictures on this, the panel lines don't look very big, but when you come down here, the panel lines are very large, okay, and very detailed. So if you was to think to come in with a darker washer, we say it's not gonna look right. So maybe what you wanna do is, even avoid using a wash or if you did a very light gray wash over the white just to make all the details pop out and then use modular type work i.e you know perhaps some oils being put into the actual centers of the panels or post shading things like that really to lighten this up but generally not too bad as i say quite chunky nice big tabs to go in there's no sign of flash on it anything else like that there's no mist molds or anything at all then we've got some of the other areas. So these are the lower winglets that are gonna come up from underneath, as you can see down there. You've got the engines themselves, okay? Pretty basic, nothing exciting down in here and all the rest of it. A Little bit of flash going on. You can probably see down these areas down here, maybe a little bit, as you see, we've got a little bit of flash on the sprues, things like that. So perhaps a little bit of cleanup required. Again, you just wanna make sure you've got ejector pin marks here leaning out. This part is obviously gonna fit under here in these areas here it's not so bad just make sure it's all clean you haven't got any deck pins pushing against each other because that's going to give you some real headaches and worries okay but as i said quite softly done uh this is the detailed hatch they were talking about on the rear which now i look at it in real life it's like okay what was i expecting i don't know and also i can't work out if that's a little bits of flash or details that are supposed to be here on this see these little tabs up on all of these um i'm not sure if it's supposed to have those or not um, I'm guessing it may have it should have those on there actually because I'm looking at the actual ones on the box and it's showing it as on there as well so it doesn't look like they may be miss molds the gear looking very flimsy but I think that's just because it's in this white styrene it should be okay right the way through no problems and say the details are all here there isn't just there isn't many of them all right so it's quite hard to get excited about okay into the next one and then down in here we have the underside so this is the underside of the craft right the way under this is where the gear is going to come through then obviously forward gear comes from the side okay it's got a very complex uh, area so it's like a flat then it divots in then flat then rolls back right the way through and then obviously these areas coming off the side again it's quite a scratchy textured finish to the plastic as well but then you're going to be going on it with blacks and things like that and whites so it should be okay uh, there we go, Mobis 2015 made in China. There we go, just down there. Uh, and generally all the way around. Uh, Warner Brothers Entertainment all over it, being a film type thing. Okay, so we've got the nose section right the way around here like that. Some nice detail on this actually. You might be able to see we've got some nice textures and everything else running right the way down there. They're all very nice indeed. No problem with that. Again, a little bit of flash, just tiny bits. In fact, I don't even know why it's got these on here. It looks like they're sprue marks that have come in from the sides in here, which has, it's got two sprue gates which came in here, and then for some reason they've cut them out, which, if you're gonna do it, at least clean up the part, okay. So there we go, this is the other forward section as well. Down in there, some nice. Okay, and then you get, this as a bonus, which is the mini me, all right? So actually what happens is these two go in here, and then it's gonna sandwich together, and away you go, and this will give you your uh, Saturn V uh, top to it. This is the actual gear legs as you can see you have no detail in those whatsoever All right, so there's nothing too much to look on there, but there we go That's how this is going to fit so obviously one each and then one back to back and then that's how it gets shot out on top of a Saturn 5 Okay, and if you wanted to do something else like that So if something nice as a little afterthought you might as well build it because you know Why not if you have got a Saturn 5 lying around which is gathering dust you could 
give it a fresh coat of paint, liven it all up, stick this on the top, and you've basically got a big movie prop then uh, sitting in your room, so something quite nice. So there we go. So as I say, you don't really get massively excited over this stuff, but it is here if you want to do it. Okay, so in here, I'm guessing, we have some very small markings. So you have, you've got the RF31s, okay, and the small ones, and a couple of escape things, uh, a couple of things for NASA, and the US flag down there. Again, they look pretty good. I think you'd jump up and down about, but you're pretty much there. So, you know, one, two, and three is for the big model, and then you've obviously got four, five, and six for these smaller ones as well, uh, and go around it like that. So there we go, that is. If you did enjoy Interstellar, if you could make head or tail of it at the end <laughs> and everything else and didn't have to explain to your partner a million times what was going on, this is definitely the kit for you. As I said, Mobis, it's a little bit clunky. Uh, I would always say use it as a starting point with all of their kits. They are brilliant starting points. Then you can add detail to them. You can do a little bit of extra. You can do your own type of weathering to really improve on the kit. But they do bring out some very nice and very interesting subjects. And this is definitely one of them. So there we go. That's the Ranger from Interstellar.